Yeah, you back there, Brother Holter? You back there? Greetings, family. Sister Holter coming to you once again. Sister Holter is enjoying herself today with the hubby. Y'all see the hubby back there? My sweet thing back there. There you go. Hey, y'all, look, we are enjoying ourselves. Honey, let's sit here for a minute because the car coming. <coughs> we are enjoying ourselves, family, once again. This is my second journey for today. You know, I wanted to come out early to, to ride early. And uh, then I want to get with uh, Micah to come out this evening with him so he can get some exercise. So now Micah is with me. He's right there. Once I turn, you'll be able to see Micah back there. He is with me. And uh, he's going to be making that turn. You see him? There you go. We on the journey. Look at here. We ain't playing. We're going to get rid of those extra unwanted pounds that I have to lose. I'm going to get rid of them pounds. I'm so grateful to God. I'm just so happy. I'm elated about what the Lord is doing. The Lord is doing marvelous things. He's doing fantastic things. He's strengthened me. And, and Excuse me, honey. Uh, you want to go straight up and go around? Yeah, we 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 getting our directions down from Brother Hope to what direction we going in, and um, we gonna go we gonna we gonna take a little journey, and we'll be out here for about thirty minutes. But yes, I just wanna uh just thank him. Uh oh, I didn't bring my <laughs> I didn't bring my thing my cloth where I would spare. We'll knock those flies out. Okay, come on, honey. Nothing is coming. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pick it up, dust. But yes, I greet you all in Jesus' love. And you know, I just want to take this time while I'm on the journey now. Talk to all the African-American and brown folks out there uh, concerning the election coming up, the 2020 election. You know, I want you to encourage your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Please, please, please encourage the people to get out and vote. They go out and vote November the 3rd because this election right here, we have African American brown people have so much riding on this election. You know, and 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 just sit back and just look at what we have been going through. I mean, not just going back 400 years ago. I'm talking just going back to the first of the year. You know, all of these, all of these senseless killing of our african-american men and women you know we've got to wake up now and in starting encouraging people uh, uh, to, of color to get out and vote get out and vote as if your life is dependent on it honey come all the way over uh-huh yeah because because really in reality our life is dependent on it. You know, we got that that systemic racism. We got police brutality. We got a we got a chief of state, and we got a government that don't care nothing about some of the American people. It's have just been America had just been separated. It just been separated. You know, and the, with this division and this this hatred of rhetoric and, and this um. This rhetoric that's been that been going on, you know, I mean, from for, for ever since the individual been in the White House, and um, and this other wickedness, I mean, never seen nothing like it in my life, family. I never seen nothing such hatred, such a bigotry, you know, uh, stirring up all these these white nationalists, these KKK, the Klu Klu Klu, stirring stirring up these people. And uh, white supremacists stirring them up, you know. We've got to do something while you can. The ball is rolling and, and, and the ball is in our court. And we got to take that thing come November the 3rd and we got to run with it. We got two wonderful candidates that are running for president and vice president. Uh, uh, president Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris. These are two people that I believe that if we give them a chance... If we just give them a chance and get up, get up, 
get up and go out there and vote. Start telling your children that those that not register, check on those that you know not register. Help these people to get out there and register so that when it comes time to vote, they can go and vote. And um, let's make sure that they have a ride to the polls. Make sure they got a ride to the polls. And we have to carpool. I don't care how we going to get to that poll November the 3rd. All we know is that we got to get to that poll. And we've got to vote. We got to vote because we can't take another four years of this crazy madness. We can't take another uh, four years of uh, uh, po uh, police brutality. We can't take. We can't take another. Uh, we can't even take another uh, day of it because somebody is gonna be laid to rest. Somebody is going down. It's not gonna stop. This this racism is not gonna stop, y'all. I'm telling you, wake African American people, folks, wake up. And then I want you to understand me too. We have some beautiful. Beautiful Caucasian people out there that's not full of the devil. That's not racist and hell bound. So, excuse me, I'm going to take a break here for a minute. Honey, we're going to make our left here. It don't look like nothing coming. Okay, I think, I think we good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn fast. Uh-huh, yeah, turn fast and come on out. Yeah, you know, we want to make sure we are safe while I'm talking. Yeah. So we'll bear all the way over here to your right. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all make sure my honey is all right back there. Good evening. Oh, fine. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got to make sure my, I got to make sure my sweet thing behind me. I got to watch them. <laughs> y'all have a good day. <laughs> um, But yeah, uh, we've got to... We gotta pray because look at here, you got people out there call themselves Christians. Them them wicked, foul evangelicals, they are evil as a snake. And they out there and they pushing this agenda, y'all. They put there's a agenda out there. There's a hidden agenda. Satan is in it. The devil is in it. And these people are pushing uh, uh this White House agenda. They're pushing it. And 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 if you just sit there and you don't go out and vote, you gonna, you gonna regret it. African American people, you gonna regret it. You gonna regret it. But like I was saying before, I thank God for all of the, uh, our Caucasian brothers, uh, those love, those God-fearing Christians. That's what I'm talking about, God-fearing Christians. Those ones that love Jesus. Those Christians not just standing behind the name of God. Not just standing behind Jesus Christ. But in, in, in reality, they're, they're, they're wolves in sheep's clothing. Ezekiel talks about the wolves. The, 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 these, these, these devils that are out there that are going in Jesus' name. But they don't mean nothing. They don't mean God no good. They don't mean you no good. They're all about fattening their pockets and their belly, y'all. We've got to encourage the African American brown people to get up and to get ready. Get your, get your mind ready. Start thinking it in your mind about going to the poll and voting, coming, um, coming, yeah, they see us. Come in November the 3rd, we got to encourage these people to get out and vote. Just to get out and vote, you know, and uh, do themselves some service. Do the United States of America some service because we, the United States of America have fallen so far from grace. People are now ashamed of America. They're ashamed of all this systemic racism that's going on in our country. They're ashamed of it. And it and, and once used to be the home of the, the brave, what they call it, honey? The home of the brave and the land of the free. And they're saying, yeah, so so our African American people, they are the brave. We've been so brave to put up with all this hell and evil and wickedness that's been done to us for all these many years, our ancestors, and still being done to us of this generation. Way in on the free. <laughs> that, that, that Caucasian folks, they living in the land of the free because they got it, everything turned, turned around in the Constitution. All the, the, the laws and these hidden codes and all these things is hidden in our Constitution. Hmm. Yeah. Some up there in that tree, 
Some up in that tree, uh, a squirrel, a squirrel making all that noise, y'all, up there in that tree. Yeah, he's making a lot of noise back there. I'm looking at that. What kind of squirrel is that? And you know the squirrels ain't that big. <laughs> Yeah, come on here. Yeah, it look like my, my camera keep going in and out, y'all. But uh, but I'm gonna make this brief. I'm gonna make it brief. You know, y'all get on flood social media. F go on Instagram, go on Twitter, uh, go on Facebook, go on YouTube and, and, and flood the media and tell these African-American people to start preparing themselves for the upcoming election. Tell them to get up, get up, get up and out of there. And let's get ourselves together and prepare ourselves to get ready to go out and vote. And God is going to do the rest. He ain't going to do nothing unless we get up off of our behinds and go out there and vote. Go out there and vote and uh, ask God for grace and mercy. Let's ask him for grace and mercy. Yes. And he will grant us. You know, the Lord will grant us grace and mercy because that's what we need. You know, more of God's grace, more of his mercy, more of his love. And I just believe that he's going to bless us, family. I just believe that he's going to take care of us. So I just want to say we love you. We, we thank God for you. We just lift you up. And we're going to keep on pushing uh, Joe Bynum. And we're going to keep on pushing Tamala Harris. I thank God for the two marvelous candidates. And I just believe that if we work together with this thing, and we work together with this thing, because the Bible says God is love. And that God have no respect to person. These people want to bring the people together. They want to bring the American people together. Those ones have been divided. Yes, we've been so divided. So these people, I believe, along with the uh, American people that, um, that have a uh, good sense, uh, good common sense, even common sense, to see that we are in trouble that we want to work on this thing. So God bless you all, and our uh, heaven smile upon you, the grace and the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen be with you all. And we'll see you back. We'll hit you back soon. Amen. Don't forget, 2020 election, Joe Bynum and Kamala Harris. Let's hear for Joe Bynum. Woo-hoo-hoo. Let's hear for Kamala Harris. Woo-hoo-hoo. To find American people, to find citizens that, that, that got that power within them to take us to the next level, to help us to go on to freedom. God bless you all. Oh, fine. Thank you. Yeah, me and my hubby out, we out trying to get a little exercise. Uh-huh. <laughs> and look, we, we doing more chilling than piling. <laughs> Y'all take care. <laughs> so um so you all y'all just just continue to push those two names. Push those two names and I believe with much prayer, much prayer and much faith in God, I'm praying that God will give us uh these two marvelous wonderful candidates. God bless you. Love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>